I just want to start off this video by letting you know that there's a new man in my life that I'm super excited about. His name is Little Fan. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a very interesting video because if you follow me on Instagram or if we're Facebook friends, um, maybe I should start a Facebook for this channel, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I did have a post for an Ask Shorty, so you guys could have submitted questions, and a bunch of you submitted a really awesome array of questions. So the first question comes from Leah Ballerina, and she asked two questions, and her first question is, last person you kissed and why? And the last person I kissed was my niece and nephew because I was over their house the other day and I didn't see them for a little bit because they're always busy with school and they get out kind of late and I'm always busy with work so when I saw them I gave them a big old hug and kiss and it was awesome. The second question from Leah Ballerina is most challenging thing about your YouTube channel process i.e. editing or remember to bring your vlog cam or whatever. So I technically have a vlog camera. This is what it looks like. I also have another one in silver. It's not a Polaroid, I think it's a Samsung, and I really love that camera also. But I feel very awkward when I vlog. For the most part, I think that I'm very awkward when I vlog by myself. When I'm with other people, I will whip this thing out so fast you don't even know. But I feel like for the most part, it looks more natural if I use my phone. Now, I love like it just looks more natural especially if I'm doing this because it looks like I'm just watching a video and if I do like the forward-facing camera it kinda just looks like I'm snapchat not snapchatting but it looks like I'm like skyping with someone so it doesn't look as awkward than me whipping out this some point in my life I will probably be more comfortable using this even when I'm with my by myself but for the most part I use this um, and the least difficult process I would say I love to edit like I love to like have no pants on and my big old white headphones and just edit my videos and it's the most I feel like that's the easiest process of it is just like editing it adding in the music um, putting in pictures if I need to and then just letting it like render out because I feel like that's the easiest part of it for in all due respect like that's the easiest part like sitting down make getting camera ready is like a process and then to see that process unfold and then you just get to like fix it it's kind of awesome next the next question someone asked is what is your favorite song right now and why um i really love sia chandelier i love sia in general but I love that song because of what she's saying. Like for the most part, I don't really listen to the words of music until I just listen to the song. And I love what she's, she's just like, I'm gonna be carefree and I'm gonna do what I want. I'm just gonna swing on the chandelier because that's what you do when you're having a good time. The next question I got was top favorite YouTubers right now. Um, for the most part, Hmm, I've been watching a lot of like get ready with me videos. I don't know what it is, but I'm addicted to them um, I can't remember the girl, but she's like a British youtuber And I think it's just like watching people like live their lives is like super fascinating But my super favorites as of right now is the Levine life because I love them And I love to see how like this guy who was like fuck bitches get money is now like a family man and I think it's adorable and I hope he never goes back to that channel because I for the most part I hated him when he took that channel and now he's just like I love my son and my daughter and I'm like yay and I love his wife Dee I feel like she and I could be super best friends because she's awesome and she makes the same face I make when I'm trying to be sarcastic like but I thought you loved me. Like, she's adorable. I love them. I love them all. I love all their friends. Um, his friends, for the most part, are hilarious. Um, second favorite YouTuber would have to be Natural85. Um, I love her. I love Olivia. I love Felipe. I love Juju. I love all of them. Um, my third favorite, um, SourceFed, because that's how I get my news. I don't really watch news on the TV anymore because it's just like, hey, this black guy got shot. And I don't really feel like hearing anything about that anymore. Um, who would be my fourth YouTuber? Um, my fourth favorite YouTuber would be, oh, Sugar, who is she? What's her name? Can't remember her channel name right No, I can. Naturally Nelsie. I love her. I love Rich. I love how she gives 
these um, box reviews, like usually with the paid subscription boxes. I love that. I love that she started her own business. I love that she's like super positive and she doesn't curse on her channel and I wish I could do that, but I can't because sometimes you just feel like cursing and it happens. Um, but I love her channel. I love how positive it is. I love how she's trying to get her sister into the natural, um, into the natural community. I love that she does tutorials and like makeup reviews, and I love her channel channel overall. Um, and who would be my fifth favorite? Um, there used to be a girl who her name is Jalen Loves, um, and she is her husband is in the army or the marines i'm not really sure and she did japan vlogs and there's something about a travel vlog that like makes me want to just pack my bags and go to the airport and be like just give me a ticket anywhere and i love i love her vlogs she kind of stopped vlogging which makes me very sad um but she was showing like these makeup like how to travel in japan and the makeup counters in japan and they had girl she went to this bakery that had Hello Kitty donuts. What? Like, I mean, I need not to be in America if that's where the fun stuff is. Like, she got like a pink front and it had the bow and everything. I love Jalen. Jalen loves channel. I wish she would come back. I follow her on Instagram, but I really wish she would come back. Um, and if you want to check out anyone that I mentioned, I will leave their links down below. They're all super awesome. And I really wish that she would come back to YouTube because she, her channel was awesome. And I thought it was really nice to see a woman with a child dealing with her husband being deployed because I know that shit's not easy. Coco the Natural. Hey girl, hey, my YouTube bestie. Complete. I'm spaced out right now. She, her, her husband's being put and it's not easy for her either. She just did a video about it. You should check that out. So the next question, and it is also an Instagram question, is from Asher underscore B underscore alt. And she's like, when did you first decide that you wanted to act? And for the most part, what I decided that I wanted to act from the time I was very, very little. And I can't remember the name of the movie, but I think Michael J. Fox was in it. And I think... Christina Vidal was in it. I can't, I think it's called Mikey. And he was like her agent. And for the most part, there was some kid in that movie that I was like, wow, they suck. I can totally do that. And for what I would do is, what I started doing was I would mimic people on TV. And my mom thought it was really funny. And my grandmother thought it was really funny. And then the best part is, growing up in a Spanish household, I would mimic novellas. Now, if you don't know what novellas are, Google them. They're Spanish soap operas and they're dramatic as fuck for no reason. Like, Maria has cancer. And for like, you know how like in some certain soap operas it's like, Maria has cancer. And it's like really sad and emotional. But with Spanish soap operas, it's like, Maria tiene cancer. And it's funny, but it's so cute. Like, I love it. It's so funny. And like, I would do that all day at home with like my parents and I would just mimic the things I would see on TV. And especially like the novellas because they're just so dramatic. For like, Google a novella and then just watch it. Like, watch it. Make sure there's subtitles on the bottom, especially like novellas from the 90s because they were just, oh my God. Hair, like oh I mean it was it's just a hot mess the next question is also for Leah Ballerina how many questions did you ask girl damn <laughs> oh my god there's like a straw okay so the next question is what is your favorite lipstick and I will say it's this one it is shameless by the matte bomb Revlon color burst I don't know if you can see it it's like a strong nine dollars but it's awesome and then you get to see the color look how purple that is this is the first time I've ever seen a lipstick match the actual tube that it belongs to and I love this lipstick I wear it all the time and I feel like people are sick of seeing me in it if you want you can go back to like I think two videos ago I was wearing it and it's awesome I love it it's the best thing I think Revlon's ever done and I love their matte balms they're amazing I love them and the last question is a Facebook question, and it was asked by Nellie Morrison, who's also here on YouTube. Hey, girl, hey. And I will link her channel down below as well. And she asked, what's the hardest thing you've discovered about being a black actress? And this is actually a very awesome question. Um, for the most part, 
if you decide this is what I want to do for the rest of my days but I'm also a person of color you need to be ready to learn that you're going to get rejected a lot now for the most part what I have started doing was background which is basically like if you ever watch a show and you see people like walking in the background that's what I'm doing um, and I still do it to this day um, for the most part when you apply to certain jobs they'll ask for people but what I started to notice was there's a POC quota which I lovingly call my person of color quota for every 10 white people there's maybe two black people who are doing background for that show unless it's like a very specific show like power like power will definitely hire a large majority of african-american people because it does have a african-american cast um for other shows like the blacklist not so much um if you do get called then that's awesome but then you'll probably show up to set and they'll probably be like you and this one really large black man um or like this other really, you know, tall, statuesque black woman. Um, sometimes it'll be a nice mix. Certain shows, it's very hit and miss. Um, but for the most part, I think the hardest thing about being a black actress is just like being rejected and having them want very specific types of people. I mean, there have been castings that I've seen that are like, we need someone from like a double zero to a size two who's like five foot seven. Girl, I am like 180 pounds and I'm short and I'm chubby. I would say that's probably one of the hardest things. It's just when they want specific things and you don't fit them. And either just being rejected because you don't fit the idea of what they're looking for as a character. So thank you so much for watching my very first Q&A. Um, I think that's awesome and it's fun and I probably will do one later on in the month of October. Make sure that you follow me on social media. I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, I have a Pinterest in case you're seeing what I'm pinning. And all those things will be down below. I don't know if I want to do a Facebook for this channel yet because I don't feel like I have that big of a subscribership yet. But once it gets a little bigger, I will totally do one. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next week. Okay? Bye.